everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 332 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. Today's granny square is called Whimsical Block and it's designed by Linda uh, by uh, Black Sheep Creations. So make sure you check out the written pattern for this on my website, also linked in the description of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, but today's granny square is fabulous, you guys. This is so interesting. We're using uh, single crochets, half double crochets, double crochets, and these long extended half double crochets, front post treble crochets, just to make this interesting design. It's really unlike anything we've done before. It's really, really interesting, a very fun pattern. And it worked out pretty fast for me. I'm doing eight rounds in this square today, but the written pattern does have 13 rounds that you can go on to making your square a bit bigger into 12 inches. So make sure you check that out and make yours bigger. You can, you can make a, a pillow cover or make a nice center of a blanket or something really interesting with a 12 inch square. Uh, in the, today's video tutorial, I'm using three different colors. This is all Red Heart Super Saver yarns, Red Heart yarns. Uh, you can use any scrap yarns. There's not a whole lot needed in this project. Uh, just uh, You can use an, an as many colors as you want also. This is a 10 ply size 4 worsted weight medium yarn. You can use a double knitting yarn, an Aran yarn, a, a worsted weight yarn, any, any scraps you've got. And I'm going to demonstrate this with an H size crochet hook, which is 5 millimeters, and that's exactly what the pattern calls for. So so make sure you have that handy. This square today measures out to be seven inches if you do rounds one through eight, okay? If you make it bigger or go on to making rounds nine through 13, obviously it'll be a, a little bit bigger, uh, but that turns out to be about 17 centimeters for me today, 17 and a half centimeters. So that's the measurement of today's square. You're also going to need a scissor and a yarn needle just for sewing in your ends when you cut your yarn and all that stuff. Uh, before we begin, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video. So there's a link to the written pattern, like I said, but there's also a link to my website, yarnutopia.com, where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares. We're adding a new square every single day for the year of 2016, so make sure uh, you check that every single day. There will be a new square up. Also, uh, at the bottom of that blog, there is that list of the ones that have written patterns available to you, so you will see number 332 down there. It is called Whimsical Block, so you can you know, follow along with that. Also, there's a link to my Facebook and Instagram, so make sure you share your photos of your squares today. This one is so beautiful and I cannot wait to see your squares, so make sure you share a photo on the Facebook. And if you post on Instagram, be sure to hashtag 365 days of granny squares so I can see your square on there. Last thing I have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fuad Osman, for taking the time to make this video with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos, so make sure you subscribe to our channel channel so we can give you that update on when we post our next video. So now let's get started and make number 332 granny square. Let's start out with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold that down and then pull that long end through and make a slip knot. There, insert your hook in that loop and we can begin. So let's start out by chaining four. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over and pull through, two, three, and four. And then go all the way to the first chain way over here and go in to make a slip stitch to form a ring. So yarn over your hook and pull that through and pull through. Just like that, we've created a ring. Now going right on to round number one, we are going to chain up two. So yarn over and pull through there, one, and two, and for a half double crochet, we have to yarn over the hook, go into the ring, yarn over there and pull that through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that's a half double crochet. So you have to make seven of those into the ring. So that was one, so yarn over your hook, go into the ring, then yarn over your hook again and pull that through, and then yarn over again and pull through all three loops. Okay, that's two. This is three. Here's four, five, six, and 
seven. Okay. Now I, I worked kind of in a circular form here and I worked over the straggler. So now I can kind of pull that tight to close that center. And we're going to count back eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight. There we go. Eight is this chain up two here, <laughs> one and two. So we're going to slip stitch into the chain up two. Okay, you should have eight stitches in total, including this chain up two here. Go in, yarn over and pull through and pull through. Okay, so that was round one. There should be eight stitches in total. Going right on to round two, if you are changing color here, you can fasten off, start in any stitch around. I'm not gonna change color yet. I'm just going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. Now in the same stitch, we are going to double crochet. So a double crochet, we have to yarn over our hook, go into that same stitch, that same chain of two that we just slip stitched into. We're gonna go into there and then yarn over your hook and pull that through. Then yarn over again and pull through two of the loops and then yarn over again and pull that through both of those loops. So that is a double crochet. And now it looks like there's two double crochets in that same stitch because that chain of three counted as a stitch already. So now we're going to put two double crochets into each stitch around, but we have to chain one in between our groupings. So chain one here, okay? And then put two double crochets into the next stitch. So yarn over your hook, go into that stitch, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over again and pull through those last two loops. Okay, again, another double crochet goes into that same stitch. Then we're gonna chain one and put two double crochets in the next stitch. And then chain one and put two double crochets in the next stitch. So just keep doing that all the way around and then I will meet you up for round three. When you have 16 stitches in total and eight of these chain one spaces, um, I have to make my eighth one right here. We're gonna chain one and then slip stitch to this chain up three right here. One, two, three, just like I showed you in round one, we're just gonna go in and then yarn over and pull through and through for a slip stitch there, okay? So now we have eight of these chain one spaces. We are going to start our next round in a chain one space and I'm not gonna change color. So if you wanted to change color, you could fasten off here and then start in any one of these chain one spaces. But I'm gonna slip stitch into this double crochet here and then I'm going to slip stitch into this chain one space here. Okay. And now going on to round three, we are going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And that's going to, again, count as our first double crochet of this round. And now we are going to double crochet into the same chain one space. So yarn over, go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over again and pull through those last two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. And now we're going to chain two, one and two, and go into the next chain one space and put two double crochets in there. And then chain two and repeat this around. So hop into the next chain one space and put two double crochets in there and then chain two. So just keep doing that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round four. Finishing this round, I just have to finish chaining two there, and then we're gonna slip stitch to the chain up three right here, one, two, three, right in the top. Just go in, yarn over your hook, pull it through and through. Now, if you're not changing color and going on to round four, slip stitch into this double crochet here and into this chain two space, and then chain up three and go on to round four. But I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn. Pull it through, pull it tight, and then we're gonna start in a chain two space. And I'm changing color. So I'm hooking on my hook, pulling that through, and chaining up three. One, two, and three. And again, just like the last round, it's going to start as our first, or this is counting as our first double crochet of this round. So for round four, we are going to put nine double crochets into this chain two space. So again, double crochets just like you would the last two rounds, yarn over, go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, 
This is two, three, four, five. We have to scoot these over to make room here. Six, seven, eight, and nine. But in fact, it actually looks like there is 10 stitches in there because that chain up three counts as a stitch. And now we're going to single crochet into this next chain two space. So just go in and then yarn over and pull that through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay. And then we're just going to repeat uh, this all the way around. So in the next chain two space right here, we're going to put 10 uh, double crochets. So yarn over once for the double crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, scoot these over, <laughs> eight, nine, and ten. All right, and then we're going to single crochet into the next chain two space. Okay, so then this next chain two space gets ten double crochets, then the next one just gets a single crochet, then the next one gets ten double crochets, and this last one gets a single crochet. I'll meet you up when we're about to slip stitch to the beginning. When you're finished with this round, slip stitch to the chain up three here, and then we can go on to round five. Okay, so we are going to start in the sixth double crochet of this 10 double crochet grouping. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right into this stitch we're gonna start in. But if you're not changing color, just slip stitch in all of these six stitches here, across here, until you get to that stitch. And uh, we'll start in the sixth double crochet of this 10 double crochet grouping. I'm gonna change color here, so I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight, and I'm gonna go into the sixth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right in there, and I'm gonna pick up a different yarn, hook that on the hook and pull it through. Okay, and then we're going to chain up two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two, and that's going to count as our first half double crochet of this round. And now we're going to half double crochet in each of these next four double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, just like round one when we did the half double crochets, we're doing that in the next four stitches. So one, two, here's three, and four. And now we're at the single crochet, but we're actually not gonna work into the single crochet. We are going to go down to round two in between these two double crochets right here. Okay, we're gonna go in between there. We're going to yarn over, go down into it, into that gap between the posts. Okay, working around everything, yarn over and pull through and then pull up all the way, okay, equal to your work and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that is a drop half double crochet. Now we're going to half double crochet into the next five double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next double crochet here, make a half double crochet in there. That's one, next stitch two, next stitch three, four, and five just like that. And then for our corner, we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to half double crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. And now we're going to make one of those drop half double crochets. So yarn over, go down into round two between these two posts. Okay, work around everything, yarn over, pull through, and pull all the way up equal to your work, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, and there's another drop half double crochet. And then just repeat that all the way around. If you need to, follow along with the written pattern that's linked in the description of this video. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue working this repeat around, and then I'll meet you up for the next round. All right, when you're finished with this round, make sure you chain your last two here and then slip stitch to the first chain up two right here. One, two, 
go in there and then yarn over, pull through and through. Now this next round, I'm not gonna change color. I'm just gonna go right on to round six. If you are changing color, start in a half double crochet stitch after or to the left of a chain two corner space. I'm just gonna chain up two right here and go on to the next round. So this chain up two is going to count as our first half double crochet. And now we are going to put a half double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so one and two. Now in the next four stitches, one, two, three, and four, we are going to put a double crochet in each one of those. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's one, here's two, oh, we're skipping over, sorry, we're skipping over this uh, long, half double crochet stitch. This is three and four. And then we're going to put a half double crochet in the last three stitches. So one, here's two and three. Okay, so just, yeah, skip over this um, long or extended half double crochet stitch, okay? So then everything is all even, and in the corner here, we are going to put two half double crochets, okay? Then chain two, and then two more half double crochets, okay? And then we're just going to repeat what we did on the side. So one half double crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, and three, then double crochet into these next two stitches here on this side. So double crochet one and double crochet two. Skip over this uh, long half double crochet stitch and double crochet in the next two stitches. And then half double crochet in the rest of the three stitches um, on the side here. One, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to repeat what we did. So in this corner here, put two half double crochets, then chain two, and two more half double crochets. So just repeat that all the way around, and then I will meet you up for the next round. When you finish your last corner here, just slip stitch to the beginning, chain up two, right here, one, two, so go in there, yarn over and pull through and through. Now at this point we want to start in a corner for round seven. So I'm going to just fasten off here. So chain one, cut that, pull it through and pull tight. And I'm going to start into this corner right here. And I'm going to pick up my other color. If it's not tangled, there we go. And hook that on the hook and pull it through. And now in the corner here, we're going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. And what that counts as is the first two chains <laughs> counts as our first half double crochet. And the next two chains counts as our chain two corner space. And in the same corner here, we are going to half double crochet. So again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So now it looks like a half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet, all in the corner. And each corner is going to get those stitches, okay? So now we are going to skip this first stitch right here, which you can't really see it anyway, but we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna half double crochet into this next one. Okay, so half double crochet in there. And now what we're going to do is make a front post treble crochet on these stitches from the previous round. Okay, so that's round one, two, three, four, round five here. So yarn over twice, go down into this chain space here around this first stitch on this side, okay, around the post, then yarn over and pull that through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops, okay? That is a front post treble crochet. So we have to do it on these five stitches. So that was one, yarn over twice, go on the next stitch around it from round five, yarn over and pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so yarn over twice, go down into the next one, around this post. Okay, and we're gonna have five of these in a row here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and now we're at that long half double crochet stitch. In this gap right here on round six, we are going to half double crochet in there. So yarn over once and go into that gap right in there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, just like that. And now we're going to half, or I'm sorry, not half double or anything. We're going to treble crochet front post around these next five stitches right here from round five. Just like we did right here on this side, we're going to do it to these five stitches right here. So yarn over twice, go on this side of the post around it, okay, down here in round five, and make your front post treble crochet. Okay, just like that. One, two, here's three, whoops, three, here's four, and then five. And now we have to half double crochet into this next stitch right here. Okay, so yarn over, go up onto the stitch from round six, into the stitch. Okay, it's the second to last one on the side. We're going to half double crochet in there. We're going to skip the last stitch on the side and in the corner we're putting a half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet. Okay, and now we're just going to repeat exactly what we did from this side across here to this corner all the way around for each side in each corner. So we're going to skip the first stitch, half double crochet in the next, then front post treble crochet on the stitches from round five for the next five stitches. Then we're gonna half double crochet in the gap right above that long half double crochet in the center of the side. And then we're going to um, front post treble crochet on those next five stitches from round five. Okay, you can see here I'm working this a little faster now. If you need to, you can always rewind this and see what I did on that first side or follow along with that written pattern. Uh, but I'm just going to continue working this pattern all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round eight. When you come back around to make your last half double crochet, we're gonna skip this last stitch here and we're gonna slip stitch to this chain up, to, or the second chain of our beginning chain four here. One and two in the second chain. We're gonna go in for a slip stitch to close this round. And now in the next round, the last round, we're going to start in a corner here. You can just slip stitch into this corner chain space and chain up three and go on to round eight, but I'm gonna chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull it tight. And we're gonna go into the corner and I'm gonna grab my other yarn, pull that through and chain up three. One, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet. And now in the same corner space, we're going to double crochet one, just like that. And then we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to put two more double crochets in the same corner space. Okay, and just like that. So our corners get two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet for here and throughout this whole uh, round here. And we are going to double crochet into the next 15 stitches. So that should be every single stitch on this side. So yarn over once for a double crochet and go into each stitch on the side. That should be 15 stitches in total. And then, so we're just double crocheting. You could um, substitute for single crochets or even half double crochets if your square is getting to be a little bit larger. Uh, but I'm just going to double crochet all the way across in every stitch. And then in the corners put uh, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. And then when I'm about to fasten off, I will meet you up and we'll fasten off together. When you're finished double crocheting around, just slip stitch to the top of this chain up three right here, go in, and then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. 
At this point, you can go on to making rounds 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So rounds 9 through 13. Uh, you can make your square much bigger, but I am going to fasten off here. So chain one, cut that pull it through and pull tight. And I'm gonna be done with my square today. It is as big as I want it to be. Uh, but like I said, you can go on to making rounds nine through 13. Uh, that is on the uh, w website for this uh, whimsical block. So I will uh, obviously have the link to the Britain pattern in the description of this video and it's also at the bottom of my blog post for the 365 days of granny squares so you can follow along and make yours bigger. But there it is, number 332 granny square, complete. It looks so fabulous. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see your photos. I hope you're having a great day today. Happy hooking.